talk a bit about reorganization. There are many, many things that we could talk about. That, and there, it also looks like a pretty full agenda. Yeah, well, I think, um, I thought I communicated that, that yeah, if you want to, at least the remarks that you shared with the executive committee, that would be focused on reorganization. And I think some of these other items, I know we talked, uh, some of these were of interest to you here, so I expect that, um, you know, I want to make sure you hear when your staff presented. Um, but it's up to you if you want to let them go first, we can do that. Um, we can start with introductions of, of the new. Yeah, I, I think I'd like to um, start by introducing two really great new people in the department who have significant leadership roles. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that you, I, I, that you all are here. Um, Curly Bonds, are you here? Hey, Curly. <laughs> Curly, would you like to stand up? Yeah, so Curly, you can really come forward. Yeah. I, if you don't mind, Curly, maybe you could just spend two minutes talking or three about a bit about your experience. And um, what I can say about this fine gentleman is that um, he's taking on a massive role in the department. He's taking on basically oversight of all of our clinical operations, uh, which is something that hasn't really been in place before. Uh, and that includes all of our uh, emergency outreach, all of our outpatient, all of our uh, inpatient and residential and urgent care services, as well as all of our prevention activities. And um, I don't, there's, if uh, Curly will tell you a little bit about himself. I, I embarrass him because I use uh, such accolades when I introduce him. Thanks, John, and thanks to the commission for inviting him to have us come. I'm starting out in my role as chief deputy director, but really, even though this is a Appointed position, the way I do it is that I will, I serve at the will of the people. Uh, as much as I have a lot of uh, credentials as a physician, as an educator, as an academician, one thing that I think is really important, and I told the commission executive team this, something that informs my work very deeply is that I started out in psychiatry um, seeing a family member who had a serious mental illness go through a lot of struggles and get better. And fortunately, she's doing well as raised a family, but uh, I think the way I approach this work is that I feel that anybody that I encounter in our system needs to get the same type of careful, dedicated care that she got. And so I'm here mainly to make sure that the things that people do in Beverly Hills. Thanks. The, the same thing that someone does in their private office in Beverly Hills, if someone's on the streets of downtown LA and doesn't have a place to live, then they should get that same type of treatment, the same access to medications, evidence-based practices, to make sure that our clinical system is, is really tightly addressing all of the gaps. So as I've started now, this is my fourth week, I've been hearing a lot, and it's good to come here to hear some of the concerns and the issues and some of the problems that I look forward to in my time in this role to fixing with you all. So I'm always uh, open ears, open eyes, but I also feel like I, my work won't be done until things are better than when I came to this position. Um, right. Just to give you a very, very brief done thumbnail, I did work at UCLA for about 10 years as a director of the consultation and evaluation service doing medical psychiatry. And then I went over to Martin Luther King Drew Medical Center during a time that it was going through a lot of troubles. We managed to keep the residency program afloat until the hospital closed. The very good news is that partnering with the Department of Mental Health, the residency program will be coming back and a few months. So for those of you who've been in underserved areas like Service Area 6, the emphasis of this program is really to treat those who are in the public sector. We're not training psychiatrists to go out into private practice. One of the requirements for our interviews were to make sure that they can address the needs of the family members of the constituents of the people in this room. Um, I'll stop there and just say that I've, I'm glad to be back. It's a reincarnation for me, and um, I've had some less sleepless nights than I was expecting, but it's been an exciting job, and I'm looking forward to working with our new director uh, to make things happen. Awesome.